At the University of Johannesburg's Soweto campus, Gauteng and Eastern Province played in a game of time cricket on Sunday, day one of the cricket week. We asked St. Andrian Peter Jarvis what he thought of playing in Soweto. Uh, it's very nice. I mean, obviously, we always play in the, in the more city areas, so it's nice to bring it here and get the people out here to watch us in these type of areas. It's also a good experience for us to be in different places and experience new things. So I think it's very good for the game to bring it all around the country. Yeah. Mohammed Ahmed Safaraz took this catch off the bowling of Ntokozo Matlaba, putting an end to Keenan Smith's batting with just one run. Gauteng got Eastern Province out for 181, with Ntokozo Matlaba taking 6 for 59, Curtis Kampfer 2 for 36, and Gaudise Molefe 2 for 48. Gauteng was able to exceed the EP target, with the biggest knocks coming from Jacob Miltz, 53 runs, and Matthew Erasmus, 45. Great! What was that? Kezid in Inland's game against Eastern Province started with the Midlands boys taking a pounding in their upper order from bowlers like Tian von Fieren and Cole Skuman. But the middle order managed to settle, and Fraser Jones and Kamochele Selane created a productive partnership, setting the Eastern Cape boys a not too talenting target of 130 to chase down. St. Andrian, Chris Benjamin restored hope in the upper order with a knock of 48, but the middle order collapsed soon after his dismissal, and number 7 and 8 bats, Tian van Furen and Jay de Klerk rebuilt the batting with scores of 54 and 39 respectively, providing a platform for Eastern Cape to reach a total of 197 for 9. Today we've adapted like very well um, to where we were yesterday. Um, so I think that the team did very well today. Day three at Coke Week and the format is T20. So no fear batting, power plays, forensic bowling and lightning fast fielding are the order of the day. KZN sent Gauteng into bat and Joshua Richard opened for the Joburgers, racking up an impressive 41 runs off 43 balls. We didn't turn that much, but yeah, it was just how to run hard, look for the twos, not many boundaries came. And yeah, just how to push hard and wait for the bad ball. KZN's Dalen Finn did most of the bowling damage, taking 3 for 20. KZN's 123 came close to Gauteng's target of 136 runs, but not close enough with a win for Gauteng. Day 4 of Coke Week, and at the iconic Soweto Oval, Free State went into bat against Eastern Province in a 50-over game that saw some spectacular results. The Free State batsmen were immediately put under pressure by a withering Eastern Province bowling attack from bowlers Campbell De Vett and Tian van Vieren, dismissing the top order batsmen in rapid succession. De Vett got a hat trick, dismissing Mark de Villiers, Ruan Cronier, and Donald Machalosa in short order. After just 184 balls, Free State had been dismissed with a total of 88 all out, with De Vett, the top danger man, taking 5 for 10, but impressive bowling performances also by Jade de Klerk and Kenan Smith. Eastern Province openers Peter Jarvis and David Rushmere quickly found the boundary on a regular basis, with Jarvis going out LBW in the 8th over. Leaving it up to number 3 bat Chris Benjamin to finish the job with Rushmere, exceeding the Free State target in the 17th over. No, I think throughout the week we've been a very tight unit, we get along very well and each day a different member is putting their hand up for the team. And that's really been the key to our success. Everyone's pulling their part for their team. Day four of Coke Week and the format is 50 over cricket. At the St. Stidian's Oval, Gauteng won the toss and openers Joshua Richards and Jared Fox went in to bat against a formidable Boerland outfit. In the ninth over, Keegan Witten's bowling eventually bore fruit with a superb catch by Samuel Henderson putting an end to Jared Fuchs' innings with a total of 30 runs or 49 balls. Number three bat, Jacob Miltz set up a very productive partnership with Richards, despite Richards taking a painful ball direct on the toe early in the partnership. Here's Richards getting 50 up.
And just when it seemed like an unstoppable partnership, Richards got a little too under this ball from Andries Janssen van Rensburg, providing an easy catch on the boundary for Daniel Duplessis. And Richards sent back to the dressing room with a respectable 57 of 87 balls. Number four bat, Wandile Makwete found the boundary early on, and the pair set up a productive partnership, including this six from Miltz. Eventually, it was the bowling of Samuel Henderson that found a chink in the Miltz armour, with this catch at fine leg by Keegan Witten, and the St. David's boy getting a total of 63 off 80 balls. Number six bat, Curtis Kampfer, was bowled by Achille Kluter on his second ball. By lunch, the Joburg boys had set a target of 255 for six. Top scorers were Jacob Miltz with 63 and Joshua Richards with 57. And most of the bowling damage being done by Achille Kluter with two for 44. I think when I came in, we had just lost two quick wickets. So I needed to just consolidate and take my time and just get in. It was quite a tricky wicket to get in on. So I made sure that I didn't make, I didn't want other guys to come in and also struggle. So I made sure that I took it deep and take it as deep as possible. I thought I did that very well. Opening bats for Boerland, Kanya Kotani and Laurentia Smith found the boundary a few times in the first six overs, but generally were kept under pressure by the Gauteng bowlers. Khadise Molefe's bowling delivered the first wicket for the Boerland with this LBW sending opener Kanya Kotani back to the dressing room for 14 runs off 31 balls. Number three bat Daniel Duplessis went down to Ntokoza Matlaba for a run on his sixth ball and the rest of the Boerland middle order crumbled under the Gauteng attack as wicket after wicket fell in rapid succession. Eventually, it was a late partnership by number nine and ten batsmen Gareth Wilmerans and Andries Janssen van Rensburg, who made a valiant last stand, racking up 54 and 51 runs respectively. But the deficit was simply too great. By the 50th over, the Boerland team was 51 runs short of the Gauteng target. Top scorers were the night watchmen, Wilmerans and van Rensburg, and Gaudice Molefe did most of the bowling damage, taking four for 20. In the unofficial final of the week, Gauteng sent Border into bat at the Bidvest Wanderers Oval and made short work of the upper order batsmen with Border all out for 193. Border captain Sinek Bashile and Luke Dallas put up the most productive partnership, taking Border past 100 up and past the 150 run mark. But when Lusandre Mora got Dallas caught for 38 and Curtis Kampfer's bowling dismissed Bashile for 59, caught by Miltz, the writing was on the wall, and Border ended the innings in the 43rd over. Gauteng came into bat, and Matthew Erasmus was an early loss to bowler Bradley Maurer for 15, but Jacob Miltz and Joshua Richards then settled into a formidable partnership, with Richards knocking 104 and Miltz 61, and their brilliant 144 run partnership took Gauteng home with 61 balls to spare beating Border by nine wickets. With only one run to win, no, oh. he hits that. And, and that is the game. Um, Gauteng are the champions of the Coca-Cola Major Lakaya uh, Cricket Week. Uh, the boys have played really well and um, played great cricket today. They've taken their team home, um, Joshua and Jacob Miltz. Fantastic um, partnership and um, um, their coach must be proud and Gauteng is proud and well done on doing on your home ground. Yeah, I think we've got great coaches, so we had a very good plan. I think we came out and executed, our bowlers came out very early and executed our plans. We got a few early wickets. And I think we just looked to bowl very simple and keep our cricket very basic. I think it worked for us in the end. Um, I think I did have a really good week, but the beginning wasn't a great start. But I actually bounced back from the, the upset from day one. And I'm actually looking forward to getting into the semi-pro side. The week culminated with all the teams, officials and sponsors gathering at a gala dinner in Soweto, recognizing some of the top achievers of the week. Louis von Skalkbeek from Poch Folk School and Nuit Ves achieved the highest number of runs of the week. Anson Stidians and Gauteng bowler Curtis Kampfer took the most wickets. Khadisi Molefe from Jeppi and Gauteng was awarded the best fielder of the week. Curtis Kampfer got all-rounder of the week. And Sine Kashile from Hudson Park and Border won Cricketer of the Week. Next, it was time for the much-awaited under-19 team announcements. Selecting two teams from 119 of the most talented cricket players in the country is no easy task. And it's inevitable that some kids will be ecstatic. 
others would have missed out, but uh, the hard decisions are made by Victor Pitsang and his team of selectors. So thankfully I get to put on the cap and see the smiles. Louis van Skalkweg, Captain, Pochefstrum Folk School, Northwest. Christopher Britz, Pretoria Boys High, Northerns. Kaya Kotani, Paulus Gymnasium, Boerland. Kwesi Gumede, Glenwood High School, KwaZulu Natal. Michael Mahlaba, St. Martins, Gauteng. Sisonke Mazele, Western Cape Sports School, Western Province. Peko Molezane, St. Andrews School, Free State. Matthew Montgomery, Clifton College, KwaZulu Natal Coastal. Emmanuel Matswiri, Maragon, Gauteng. Gideon Peters, Wurschkul Waterkloof, Northerns. Jason Robenheimer, Selborne College, Border. Nico van Sale, Wurschkul Waterkloof, Northerns. The coaches are Sandile Guavu from Gauteng and Dion Britz from Afis. The manager is Pierre Hucho and the umpires are Brandon Jonathan and Andre Ulafid. As Coca-Cola, you know, we're very, very invested in the development of sportsmanship. You know, that, that helps embody a, a great uh, leader in society. And that's what we want to be part of those journeys. You know, many, many a cricket stars have come out of these weeks and again with the rugby. So we, we always have been part of that journey. It's our 39th year that we've sponsored this particular tournament. And it's just really, really been a journey that Coca-Cola is proud to be part of, to be the story, in part of the story of the young man in, a cricket, in, a, in his cricket journey. The South African Under-19 Schools team is Wandile Makwetu, Captain, St. Stithians College, Gauteng Curtis Kampfer, St. Stithians College, Gauteng Achille Kluter, Paul Boys High, Boerland Jade de Klerk, Woodridge College, Eastern Province Mondli Kumalo, Maritzburg College, KZN Inland Sinetembe Kreshile, Hudson Park High School, Border. Jacob Miltz, St. David's Maristinanda, Gauteng. Akona Mnyaka, Hudson Park, Border. Gaudise Molefe, Jeppe High School for Boys, Gauteng. Jason Nimont, Hudson Park, Border. Joshua Richards, St. Stithians College, Gauteng. David Rushmere, St. Andrews College, Eastern Province. The coaches are Mike Bechet and John O'Leaf Wright. The manager is Shahid Khan and the umpires are Brandon Jonathan and Andre Ulafir. Yeah, it's a real privilege to see them come from literally grade one and two up to these champions that were on the stage here tonight representing SA Schools. What well to the national selectors on selecting what is a really balanced side. And it's gonna be a fun game tomorrow and a privilege to coach them, but certainly watching these players develop and grow over the years into their own sort of batsmen and, and bowling and, and the various different aspects that they need to do to perform well um, has been a real privilege and honour. This is the end of one journey and the beginning of a new one for many of these young cricketers. Coke Week is the culmination of the ongoing role that Cricket South Africa plays in developing our cricketing heroes of tomorrow, made possible by generous support from sponsors Coca-Cola.